welcome to Show and Tell University. Hi, I'm Missy Marsh. Today for Show and Tell, I brought flags. Look at all of the flags we have around because today we're learning letter F. Capital F, little f. F says f as in flag. F says f, f, f. Now when you make the F sound, put your top teeth on your bottom lip, like you're biting your lip, and kind of open the top lip while you're biting down on your lower lip. Can you hear that sound? It's not fa, because fa is a blend, F-U. Let's try that again. Capital F, little f. F says f, as in flag. F says f, f, f. Can you say that? Flag. You can hear that, can't you? Well, today I'm going to give a shout out to three special children. Scully. Hi, Scully. To Savannah. Hi, Savannah. And Madeline. Hi, Madeline. I'm so glad that you're watching. Today, for capital F and little f, we're going to learn the name, sound, and picture, just as we did. F says f, as in flag. F says f. Now let's blend with that letter our short vowel sounds. And there, there's Mr. Blending Tree. Hi, Mr. Blending Tree. Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready to blend with letter F? Yes, we are. And boys and girls, our little scholars, you can go on Missy Marsh's Facebook page and you can copy, uh, get a copy of the Blending Tree so you can do this too. Let's try our blends of the short vowel sounds. A says A, E says E, I says I, O says A, U says A, A, E, I, A, 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 E, I, A, A. Very good. And now if you look at my cookie sheet, you can see that I have Mr. Blending Tree here. We have A, E, I, A, A, the short vowel sounds, and we've added letter F. Let's blend now with F and A. Capital F. Now, there's capital F right here. Let's use little f. F-A. F-F. F-F. F-A-F-A. 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 Very good. And you can go back and do our other videos for letters A, E, I, O, U and learn the right way to make those sounds. We did our blending tree. Now we're going to see how would you write letter F. Well, that's easy. I'm going to take my marker off, put it back here. This is a dry erase marker. Capital F is a straight stick, kind of long. Come to the top, straight stick across and then a shorter stick right here about in the middle. Little f, you start here, go up like a candy cane and straight down, kind of like a shepherd's hook, and a straight stick right there. Capital F, little f. F says f as in flag. F says f, f, f. Now, if you will look on the back of my flashcard, you'll see how you make that. On our Missy Marsh's Facebook page, you can see sky, sand, and sea. You can make your copy, take a copy and download our manuscript printing form. This is how we make it. Capital F lives in the sky and the sand. Straight stick down, go back up, straight stick, walk across the line, rock across the line in the sand. And little f lives in the sky and the sand. You start here, go up, around, and down. Don't go in the sea and then a straight stick walk across that line. We're gonna do that. If you are about four years old, you can write on our manuscript printing paper. If you're not quite that old, you can just write it on a paper or a board. I'm going to use a marker today. This is the, woo, look at that flying out of my hand. See the sky, the sand, and the sea? Hold down your paper, you wanna do that. Capital F is a straight stick. Walk across the top and then in the middle. Little left, go up, hit that ceiling, go down, and a straight stick. Whenever we write our letters, we use two finger spacing and we make another one. Capital F, 
line across the top, a line there, little F, up, hit the ceiling, bounce off, and a stick right there. Now let's write our letters. Fa, fa, fi, fa, fa. Fa, fa, fi, fa, fa. These are the short vowel sounds. And you can download a copy of this on Missy Marsh's Facebook page. Remember we make the A right there? There, you get the idea. Two finger spacing. Fa. This is fa. Two finger spacing. Fa. With the I. Fa. We didn't get to go in the C at all, did we? Fa. You can use a pencil if you like. I think it's fun to write with markers. Fa. F, capital F, little f, fa, fa, fi, fa, fa. You know, if I added a different letter like N, we'll look, be working on N sometime. If I cover that up, fa, uh, fa, N says N, fun, fun. Learning is fun. And then I went to the bottom and I circled F, capital F. We also wrote A, E, I, O, U. You can go through and find A. E, I, O, U. And we wrote N, so we're going to look at capital N. Letter recognition is a very important part of learning to read. Give yourselves a big hand. Hooray! And now we're ready to do some fun projects. We're going to make sailboats with flags. There's one. Look who came to see us today. Moana and Hey Hey. Look at that. And you know there's another alphabet. It's called the Maritime. My ships are falling over. My Maritime ships are falling over. Let me reach down and get that. Whoop, there it is. We got another one over there. Here's our alphabet, the Maritime alphabet. And if you go on Missy Marsh's Facebook page right here, you can find this and and download a copy so you can have it and you can make these boats also. Well, maritime means sea or having to do with the sea. And these alphabet letters are signal flags on a flag and they mean something. It doesn't mean A, actually they mean something different. Isn't that a beautiful page? Perhaps you've seen those on ships. Well, our ship, let's look at them. What did that mean? This is a mystery. This ship with Moana has an O on it. This one has a U. Actually, the flag wouldn't have the letters. They would just recognize them. The sailors would. What does O mean? It means overboard. Man overboard. What does U mean? It means danger. So if you're out at sea and you see a flag that says, oh, watch out, somebody's floating in the water. If you see you, it means danger, do not approach. Now I'm gonna show you how I made these. I made them with pool noodles and poster board. So I'm going to put this right back over here where we had it. Well, maybe I'll just lay it out of the way. Look what I also have, Orbeez or water beads. Look at those. Aren't they awesome? Oh, they're fun to play with. Now, if you're a choker, a swallower, don't, don't use those. Just use water. I have sea creatures in here. If we're going to make boats, we have to have the sea and little animals and little plastic plants. The Orbeez, they say that they're, if you swallow one or two, it's not too bad. Don't do it. They're not food. Let's say that. Orbeez, water beads are not food. That's right. Now, what I did when I made these, I took pool noodles and cut them with a knife. You'll need someone to help you with that, little scholars. Cut these about two to three inches. And this is a straw. You, I put a little, took a knife and went like this to put that straw down in there. You can use poster board or you can use foam. I'm gonna show you. I made a couple different ones. These are made with foam. And you can see that the foam, you get a partner to help you with this. This is about four inches by, ah, by three and a half inches. You can see that. And this one, the banners up here that we also made, that's three inches by three and a half. You can see a banner back here that says, Will, hi, Will, and a banner over here 
that says Rosie. Can you see that one, Faith? Faith is our cameraman. Say hi to Faith. Hi, Faith. And this is three inches by three and a half. It's poster board. So I cut some of these for the banners. And if you want to do a big sale, this one is eight inches by five and a half by five and a half. And boys and girls, it's very easy. You just have a helper, put the straw in here. You can glue some things on. If you want to use packing tape, you can. I cut holes with a hole punch here and here. Just look at them real close or look on Missy Marsh's Facebook page and you can see how to make them. I use twine for these and you just put two holes here and twine them together. And if you want to glue on one of the flags for overboard or for uniform or pick something, you can. Now, I use the letters for Will and for Rosie just for fun. What if I look at me? Ah! Then you can just have fun with them. Actually, the ones with the big sails don't float. You have to hold them. If you want them to float, you're going to kind of have to make that sail a little smaller. But it's still fun to float them. Ah! Overboard! Moana overboard! Hey, hey, overboard! Be careful! Now, it's summertime. We don't want you to be overboard. So please take swim lessons because you need to learn how to be safe in the water. She, Moana, you need to wear your life vest. And there's Hey Hey. Now they're safe. Boys and girls, I hope you had fun today. Thanks for stopping by. Learning is fun. Come back often and invite a friend.